Okay, let's take a look at the example questions for equilateral triangles. Example A asks us to find the value of x. Now, um, this may look a little confusing, but actually it's pretty straightforward. What we're talking about here, since this is an equilateral triangle, is three sides that are identical. So if all three sides are identical, that means that this side over here that's 11 units is exactly the same as this side over here that's 3x minus 1 units. So all we need to do is write that down. We have 3x minus 1 has to be the same thing as 11. So now we can just solve for x. We just add 1 to both sides, and that negative 1 falls away. That leaves us with 3x over here on the left equal to 11 plus 1, which is 12 on the right. And then we divide both sides by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1x equals 12 divided by 3, which is 4. So the value of x is 4 units. Now let's take a look at example b. Example b says find the values of x and y. So again, very similar situation here. We know that 10, first of all, 10 is exactly the same thing as x because these two sides, being an equilateral triangle, have to be identical. So that one's pretty straightforward. X is just 10. Didn't have to do anything with that one. And then y plus 3 needs to be the same thing as either one of those. So y plus 3 is the same thing as 10. y plus 3, exactly the same thing as 10. Subtract 3 from both sides. And we get y equals 10 minus 3, which is 7. So y is 7 and x is 10. And then finally, example C. Example C tells us that two sides of an equilateral triangle are 2x plus 5 units and x plus 3 units. So if we have our equilateral triangle, I'm just going to do a quick and dirty sketch here for us. Yeah, so all three sides are the same. One side is 2x plus 5, and one side is x plus 13. And we don't even think about the other side, but it doesn't matter. We know that 2x plus 5 must be the same thing as x plus 13. So if we write that out as an equation, 2x plus 5 equals x plus 13. Now we can just solve for x. First, we'll take a look and notice that the left-hand side has more variables to start with. So let's collect them over there. So we'll subtract x from both sides. And our x's will fall away here. We'll have 2x minus 1x, which is 1x, plus 5 equals 13. And then we subtract 5 from this side, so the variable is by itself. And subtract 5 from this side to keep it balanced. And we end up with x equals 13 minus 5, which is 8. So if x is 8, then this side here is 2 times 8 plus 5, or 16 plus 5, which is 21 units. And this side over here is just 8 plus 13, which is 21 units, which we hope is the case since this is an equilateral triangle. And it also tells us, of course, that this side down here, which we didn't know anything about before, we now know must also be 21 units, because all three sides have to be the same. And there we go.